In this video, we'll see how to solve a Kentucker optimization problem. In our case, we have to find the minimum of this function subject to these two conditions. So first of all, we rewrite the conditions. Rewrite as g1 of xy equals 80 minus x and we have that g1 must be non-positive g2 of xy equals 120 minus x minus y and g2 must be also non-positive so now we go for the Lagrangian function Lagrangian function in our case is f of xy and lambdas let me put this for lambda 1 lambda 2 x squared plus y squared plus 60x plus lambda 1 8 one second this is a little bit okay 80 minus x plus lambda 2 120 minus x minus y and we're trying to minimize so in this case we must have the lambda 1 and lambda 2 must be uh, positive and remember always the product of the lambda by the g's should be zero so it's an easy case we can do it by analysis of all the different cases so we have four cases first is when lambda 1 equals to lambda 2 equals to zero second case when lambda 1 is zero and let me not write lambda 2 not zero but g2 equals to zero because we know the product of lambda whatever with the same g must be zero so either this is zero or this is zero let's remove this from here that doesn't need to be there case three g1 is equal to zero and lambda 2 is equal to zero and case four g1 equals to g2 equals to zero and we'll go case by case We must have that the parcel of f with respect to x also should be zero. Here is 2x plus 60 minus lambda 1 minus lambda 2. That should be zero. And then the parcel of f with respect to y, which is equals to 2y minus lambda 2, also should be zero. lambda 1 and lambda 2 are 0. So we go to the partial derivative and we have 2x plus 60 equals to 0 and 2y equals to 0. That gives us the point x equals to minus 30, y equals to 0. But now let's check g1 of minus 30, 0. You remember g1 is here, it's 80 minus x and should be negative. So this is 80 minus minus 30 which is 110 positive so no valid point in the case two in the case two here this is the condition for the partial with respect to x partial with respect to y and g2 is equals to zero so if we solve this, what we have? Lambda 2 is 2x, 2x plus 60, and lambda 2 is equals to 2y. So from here, 2x plus 60 equals to 2y. y is equals to x plus 30. And now x plus y is 2x plus 30 equals to 120, from which we get x equals to 45 and y is equal to 75. Let's check g2 equals to zero is here. Let's check about g1 again. g1 of 4575, this is 80 minus, one second, this has come out a little bit ugly, so let me write it better. I know, it's just extending the length of the video, but okay, g1 of 45.75, this is equal to 80 minus 45, which is greater than or equal to 0, so not a valid point.
third case where g1 is equals to 0, so x equals to 80. And then we have for the partial derivative 2x plus 60 minus lambda 1 equals to 0 and 2y equals to 0. From which we get that x is equals to 80 here and y is equals to 0. Now g2 of 80, 0 is 120 minus 80 minus 0, which is 40, greater equal to 0. Again, this point is not valid. Is where g1 and g2 are equals to 0, so that means x equals to 80, x plus 1, 120. From here we get y equals to 40. Let's see what happens with the partial derivative. The partial derivatives are 2x plus 60 minus lambda 1 minus lambda 2 equals to 0, and 2y minus lambda 2 equals to 0. So here we have lambda 1 plus lambda 2 is 2 times x, so 160 plus 60, which is 220, and lambda 2 is equals 2 times y, which is 80. So we get lambda 2 equals to 80, lambda 1 equals to 140. Both are greater than or equal to 0, this as well as this, and g1 is equal to 0 by the assumption, and g2 equals to 0. So here we have a one minimum point. The minimum takes place when x is equal to 80, y is equal to 40. What happens with the level curves? Okay, this requires a little bit more of math, but not a lot. Let's see, for the level curves, we have the function to minimize f of x, y is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 60x. So let's write this as x squared plus 2 times 30x plus, here parenthesis, y squared. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write this like x plus something whatever is square. This something obviously should be 30 because x, the double pro, the product of the square of the sum. So this will be x squared plus 2 times 30 times x plus 900, which is 30 squared, minus 900 plus y squared. So that's equals to x plus 30 squared plus y squared minus 900. A level curve means this equals to constant, so we have x plus 30 squared plus y squared equals 900 plus constant. So these are circles of radius, sorry, of center minus 30, 0, center minus 30, 0, and the radius should be a square root of 900 plus c. In particular, 900 plus c must be positive, or c has to be less than 900. So what we have here in the domain will be x equals to 80, that's some line around here, where this is 80, and then x, plus, x equals to 80, then change the color to some green thing here, um, x plus y equals to 120, so that's a line like here, something like that. And then we'll change the color for the level curves. Level curves are circles here of this radius. So here is the point minimum. This is a little bit bad because it's done by hand, but that's the point we got the minimum.